Even if President Biden sees the humanitarian crisis firsthand, most Americans won't. The president's trip comes during a busy sports day, PGA Tour golf on Sunday, of course, a crucial week in the NFL, one day ahead of the college football playoff champions. With that, we bring in our panel, Scott Bolden, former D.C. Democratic Party chair, Jonathan Cott, former advisor to West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin. Gentlemen, uh, good to see you as, all, as always. Jonathan, welcome to the program. Um, we'll start with you. Uh, is this trip effectively President Biden's 2024 re-election announcement? No, I don't think so. I think this is just a, a further example of how Joe Biden governs. He tries to do things in a bipartisan way. He likes to have a comprehensive and effective solution to a problem. And if he can't find that in Congress, he's going to act on his own, as he's done. I think he's going down there. He's, he's going down to Mexico to have a meeting with le leaders, North American leaders. And I think he's going to see firsthand what's going on at the border. He's going to come oh, back oh, oh, and Jonathan, he's going to Jonathan, try you, to work. Jonathan, you, you've advanced these trips for, for your old bosses as well. H how do you say sure. we're, going, we're going to go see firsthand the problems when already they're, they're clearing out really what the problem is? Well, I don't think there's any problem in America that the president isn't aware of and doesn't see firsthand. He, is, he has access to any bit of information he wants. Just because lawmakers like to go down and have a photo op in front of some you know, backdrop doesn't mean that they understand it better than the president. The president understands this like no other politician in America. But he wants to have a real solution. He's not going to stand there and scream for four years about building a wall that will do nothing. What he's doing is okay. trying to find an effective strategy, which is why you've seen John well, Cornyn well, 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 and Chris Cruz so, so, work together, to be, to be Kristen Sinema, and to be, to Tom be fair, Tillis. Right, but to be fair, he, he also is the guy who said a couple of weeks ago he had more important things to do. Scott, to you, um, look, this is putting the border <laughs> issue, which, which does not poll well for the president. Republicans win on the border issue by 30 or 40 points across the board. It's indisputable. This is putting the border issue center stage. Why would he do that if he's not running in 2024? Well, I, whether he runs or not, this is an American a humanitarian crisis. That's the first well, thing. But a okay, humanitarian Second crisis all, Scott, for two years. Come on. Well, well the, the, the conservatives beat up on him for not going to the border. Now he's going to the border. He sent funds, more additional funding, and hired more troops, so brought more troops in, and now conservatives are still criticizing him. I mean, my goodness, he, he can't win for losing with the conservatives, but that's not why he's going down there. He's going to see whether his funding and his troops have made a difference. He's going to see firsthand, I'm sorry, or secondhand, what the problem is so he can empathize with those uh, refugees those immigrants, empathize with those border towns, and see firsthand what else he can do. How do you criticize the president for doing that? That's his job. Well, I, I, it, it is his job. Many would argue it was his job to go go a while ago and also to see the, the problems. So you would the, the, agree? The, no, I, I'm just... You I'm would just, agree that he should go there, right? Of course, we've done you a lot of segments with that. We asked what he, what he would see. Uh, Jonathan, to you real quick, <laughs> your, your old boss, Joe Manchin, uh, said that President Biden should extend Title 42, should continue a, a much tougher border policy. Uh, and this has been something that, that, that has been hard for Democrats in Republican states. It was very hard for Mark Kelly in Arizona as an issue. This has really split the Democratic Party. How does President Biden deal with that over the next couple of years as he's going to have to try and, and, and pull over uh, independent voters on border security and at the same time satisfy the progressive base. I think he's going to try to get a bipartisan piece of legislation passed through Congress. And Democrats in the Senate have been more than willing to work on it. I was there in 2013 when they passed a bill that mm -hmm. got 67 votes. There was more money for border security than had it ever been allocated, even more money than Donald Trump asked for. But it was real border security. I think it was Bob Corker and John Hoven who authored that amendment. I think Joe Biden will go back to Congress. If Kevin McCarthy ever gets elected speaker and is serious about addressing the border, he'll sit down and say, let's pass a comprehensive solution so we're not dealing with this next year, the year after. 20, yeah. 28, 20, 32, however we, you know, we want to focus on these over yeah. election years. But you that's said, what that's who Joe Biden is. He's said, a legislator at heart. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, 
unbiased coverage.